Around 800 asphalt cowboys followed the call of the first Mustang Club of Germany and brought their automotive wild horses to the 33rd International Mustang Meeting in Cologne. Here, the distinctive burbling sound of V8 engines is heard everywhere, as fans come to mark the 50th anniversary of Ford's pony car. Visitors can admire the Mustangs of today and yesteryear. Well, Wurm says he's been chairman of the first Mustang Club of Germany for some 25 years. Originally, the club was dedicated to first-generation Mustangs, built between 1964 and 1973. But now it organizes the meeting for Mustangs of all vintages. Wurm says they never wanted to be just a small group of first-generation fans. So they've been able to present 50 years of Mustangs here in Cologne. Car meets like this always draw unusual cars and their owners. Like this Mustang decked out in the colors of the Chicago Bears football team. And its owner who's painted his nails to match. This highway patrol show car ensures law and order prevail at the meet. And this Mustang from Holland is a replica of a race car with an interesting history. Yeah, this is actually uh, it's a replica of a race car that was owned by Tim Allen, the actor from Home Improvement, the TV series. In the mid-90s, he actually financed the racing team of Steve Salim. And because he put so much money in, they offered him a racing seat on the team. So actually the three cars that they raced in the SSCA uh, Pro Series, one of them was occasionally driven by Tim Allen himself. And this car is actually a replica of the car, how his car used to look back in the 90s. The mere sight of a dragster like this is enough to set a Mustang fan's heart racing. But it wasn't love at first sight for all the owners here. Alf Hess never imagined he'd fall for this green machine. But he says he stumbled across this green frog, got in, started it up, and then the fever hit him. If that Mustang fever ever turns into a raging fire, this car could help him cool down. Movie buffs will recognize this replica of Eleanor, the 1967 fastback Mustang Nicolas Cage steals and gone in 60 seconds. Ford marked the Mustang's 50th anniversary by showing off its 2015 edition of the car for the first time in Europe at the meeting in Cologne. Everyone wanted to get a shot of the new model. Ford's Jörg Bayer says, as executive director for Global Programs, he had a chance to collaborate on the new Mustang in the U.S. He says they had very high aims. The vehicle had to drive well, look smart, and thrill people. But Ford also wanted the Mustang to remain an affordable sports car. Ford hasn't set a price for the new Mustang in Europe, but it's known it will offer a choice of two engines. There's the 2.3-liter four-cylinder EcoBoost, which in spite of its 227 kilowatts, is fuel efficient. Those wanting a classic American motor can opt for the 5-liter V8, which generates 313 kilowatts. But fans will have to wait a bit longer before it hits the streets.